what's up guys welcome back to um, video blog number two since Gumball 3000 and my clutch ooh, my clutch my gearbox is um, seamless and that's because I've been driving for about 10 minutes um, I think we've pinpointed where the problem is and, and apparently it's to do with the hydraulics in the um, clutch and gearbox um, and maybe we need a new master hydraulic or something like that uh, which will basically enable me to select gears when the car is cold or hasn't been used for a while but now I've been driving for about 10-15 minutes and um, again the car is an absolute dream to drive and um, makes me realise why I bought this car because it's absolutely epic so um, the idea of this video is to give you a more detailed and overview of um, the car the wrap the car because when I um, actually when the wrap was finished by kit customs it was such a rush to get my car back stickered up and ready for gumball 3000 the next day that um, there was really no time and you'll see from the video the launch unveil video that it was really really rushed there was no real sort of talk about why I picked the Iron Man colors nothing so um, I hope that in this video I can give you a better overview of the wrap so we're just gonna cruise up to kit customs the cars getting de stickered today and for for this weekend the car's not going to have any stickers on it apart from the massive red and gold one um, so it's going to be like quite a nice opportunity to um, get some cool photos do some cool videos and i'm definitely aiming to do a reaction video on sunday so um, if you're in the area and uh, you want to be scared or you want to feature in the supercars of london youtube channel then get yourself down to central london because i'm aiming to do my reaction video this sunday um, and another question a lot of people are asking me are what days I'm going to Goodwood Festival of Speed the following weekend and I've got um, tickets for the Friday but I do want to go on the weekend because apparently the weekend's much better than the weekday. We'll cruise up to Kit Customs when we hit the tunnel I'm going to put the camera back on and um, hopefully I don't even know what it's going to sound like with the valve shut because I just know that it sounds like noise with the valves open so maybe we'll get a nice F1 high pitched tone from the army tricks, we'll see and then at Kit Customs I'll film the de-stickering process and uh, maybe talk to you guys a little bit about why I picked um, Iron Man and became Team Iron Man so uh, see you in a bit nice stretch of road to See how quick we can get to the speed limit. It's so much putting stickers on, so much easier putting stickers on than it is taking them off. Been here in two hours, hour, two hours maybe. Painful. Down at Kit Customs, we're having a play around with the wrap. This is. Um, 
a decision that I probably wasn't going to make today, but uh, we've decided that due to the, the chrome stickers that Gumball 3000 provided for the car, stuck on the car, they're so thick um, and just so tough uh, that they're pulling the wrap up as well and creasing the wrap and uh, really making it not the best looking and um, so we're just gonna have a play around see what we can come up with the uh, bonnet may not stay gold might play around and, and make it red but um, boy racer but we're just gonna have a, have, a, have a play around it's a wrap at the end of the day so um, it can always get changed uh, but let's see what's going on Hey guys, down at Kit Customs, uh, the camera's sitting on the roof of my car. Uh, so let's have a look over at what's happened um, at Kit Customs, the de-stickering process, and also a problem that we had with the um, gold chrome Gumball 3000 stickers. So uh, let's start with the stickers actually. So as you can see, where there hasn't been stickers on, it's fine. Then taking the stickers off, it's so sticky and the material of the gold chrome is so thick that it has taken up the wrap on the gold, which was a problem. And um, it happened on the Gumball 3000 bonnet that we had, which is the reason why the gold has gone and it's now red, which I personally think looks awesome and probably isn't so in your face compared to the, the red with the gold bonnet. Still Iron Man, but just looks slightly different. Still looks mean, but it's a shame. We're gonna have to rewrap. Gonna have to rewrap the roof, which isn't a problem. We've got the materials in already, but um, yeah, I'm scared about taking these off. Which is why they're still on. Because if they come up and pull off the red, then it's going to have to be um, the whole door rewrapped. But overall, stickers off, looking clean. Going to get cleaned up, cleaner for London at the weekend. Let me know what you think. Make sure that you subscribe to Supercars of London. I hope you've enjoyed this video of de-stickering the car and changing the design as a last minute attempt. And then tomorrow the wrap's gonna get, the wrap, the roof is gonna get re-wrapped and um, then it's time to hit central London for the weekend, which is gonna be exciting. First time that I've gone into central London, not for an event, Gumball 3000, but yeah, there we go guys.